Hi, my name is Amy Schaefer with the Iowa Real Estate Academy, and I am the Director of Education, and I just wanted to give a quick welcome video to say hello. Um, you are going to be hearing my voice a lot over the course of this 60-hour um, pre-licensed course, and I just wanted to make sure I just ran, went through a few things with you. Um, number one, I did want to discuss some basic commission rules that you hopefully just read um, as you've been entering into this course. Um, first of all, the Real Estate Commission, thankfully, considers 50 minutes to equal an hour. So a 60 hour course, that now means you've got 3000 minutes of content um, to work through. And I promise to make it as painless, but as educational for you as I possibly can. Um, with that, we do have another rule that says that for every hour that you're in class, you need to have 10 test questions. Um, they do regulate that a little bit differently for a class this size, but that does mean that you will have a little bit over 700 practice exam questions in this course. Again, please do not let that scare you. I want you to become really good at taking test um, questions and taking exam questions, um, reading them thoroughly um, and getting through those exams because obviously you're going to be going to a test center after you complete this class with PSI exams and actually taking an exam um, for your real estate license. So I want you to be really good at it. Um, for Iowa law, it does require an 80% pass rate. So some of the exams will be one or two questions. Some of them will be longer. At the end of this class, you will take an 80 question national, which is what will be with PSI exams, and then a 40 question state, which again, will be what PSI offers you when you take your official official exam. Um, Iowa code again requires an 80% pass rate, um, but PSI will only require a 70% pass rate. So if you can do really well on these quizzes, I think you've got an amazing shot then when you get to the exam center. You can retake exams, of course, as many times as you need to in order to pass it. Another quick note I wanted to make is I will let you know on the PSI exam, and again, you can take that at a test center um, or you can have it proxied at home um, by someone who can proctor it for you in your home. There are certain rules around that to qualify, but you can do it at one of the three test centers or from your home now. One thing I do wanna let you know though, is while this is a 60 hour class, it might take you a little bit longer to complete. And that's okay. Um, I care more that you slow down and actually get through the content. I see a lot of students, they're like, oh my gosh, I'm only 25% done with the class. And I've been studying my brains off and working on this. Is this ever gonna end? I know that it can feel like that and I do, I do sympathize with it, but this is more about your journey and you comprehending the content so that one, you can get the exam passed, but two, you will be using a lot of this information in your career. So it's important that you do have some level of retention. So do not compete with the clock. Um, just pay attention to what your learning style is. Some of you read fast, some of you read slow. I just care that whatever you do, you comprehend and retain it. Um, another thing I thought I would hop on here and let you know so that you know a little bit about what to expect with this course is I personally believe in teaching by repetition. Repetition, repetition, repetition. The more you hear it, the more it's going to start to sink in and it's going to become a conditioned reflex than when you're asked a question about it. So I know a lot of other experiences out there with online courses 
you read and you read and you read and you read. And by all means, there is reading content with this. But I've also tried to do video. A large portion of it is video so that you can not only hear the content, but then also hear how it applies. So I'm going to share a lot of my own personal stories in real estate. Um, I've always been told whoever tells the best story wins. So I'm going to help, hopefully help you with the content by just learning through example um, and my experiences in real estate. I think this will really help you anchor to the material. So here's what will happen through the course of this. Um, when you're done with the next couple of videos, um, I'm gonna have you read about the course content and what happens with PSI exams. Then you are going to go into the national content that will be on the exam. And then when you're completed with that, you'll go into the state content that is actually Iowa law. Um, each area on the exam is going to have a section broken down into several different subtitles. You'll have reading material, you'll have video review, and you very well will have then quiz questions to help you learn and build and grow on this knowledge. Um, once you are done with the national, I will do a review with you about the national content. Once you are done with the state content, I will also do another review with you. But we're not done yet. There's gonna be more repetition. Um, I'm also going to do another content review with you. I will do a glossary review and I will do a question and answer review that are just a lot of good questions that if you understand the concept and the answers around it, I think you'll have some success on the exam. Then we will get to that 80 question national and 40 question state. And then you will testify that you're the one that actually took this course and hopefully be done, right? Hopefully pretty painless. Um, during the course of this exam, I do have several links in the reading material. These will be links to things such as examples of purchase agreements, leases, agency agreements, glossary terms, and then I've got several links to what I call matching key terms. These are links for hopefully a little bit of a study guide for those of you that are interested, kind of to help do a matching glossary term quiz. And then of course, I've got the answers for you in um, some of the final um, videos so that you uh, aren't cheating, right? So if you wanna download those and take those as you go, it's not part of the timed material, but it also might be very helpful for you. Another thing to keep in mind that might be helpful as you go is to create flashcards. Some of you might use a source like Quizlet, um, and some of you might be a little bit more old school and want to write actually out on three by five cards, different terminology. I think both are great. Please use what is going to serve you best. Um, whatever that looks like. Personally, I do not recommend buying um, flashcards online. I think it actually is going to be more content than you need to know. And I want to keep you hyper focused on what is on the actual PSI exams outline for what is on the content for the exam. Okay. So flashcards can be a great idea um, to help you as well. Now, you might want some extra study materials besides what I've just passed on to you in this exam. I think Quizlet is a great source. I've got all of the review videos that you're going to be watching. While you can go back and watch them, I do have them all also on my YouTube channel. Um, just search Iowa Real Estate Academy on YouTube, and all of those are there. So if you want to pick certain ones to review, you can. Um, I do not recommend going to a lot of Facebook chats um, that I know are out there for studying this content. The reason I say that is I actually want to protect you. Um, number one, there are a couple of different test providers. We use PSI in Iowa. 
Pearson View is another big one. But how they design their content is very differently. So I want to stay hyper-focused, not just on our content and our content for the state of Iowa, but the type of exam you're taking with PSI. Um, and the other reason I don't like a lot of those big chat rooms is there's a lot of misinformation in there of people who don't know the answer and are winging it. And I don't want you to unlearn what you're learning here. If you are though looking for some good outlets for study materials though, Quizlet, as I mentioned, is a good one. But for national questions, I think your best option is to buy practice exams from actualpsiexams.com. You don't have to buy study material, but I know a few of you might be looking for it. PSI exams, in my experience, you can either buy a single exam for $20, or in the past, you've been able to buy unlimited exams for three months and it costs $50. I think that that's a great option. And again, it's only national content, um, but that is a big chunk of what you need to get through this process. And then again, I think supplemental YouTube videos about the state content um, with what I have on YouTube is helpful as well. Okay. So again, all of the sections will be reviewed with some subsections, reading, video, quiz content. Then at the end, you will do an 80 question national final. Then you will move on to a 40 question state final, just like what you'll do at the practice, uh, or sorry, at the PSI test center. Again, to pass exams, according to the Iowa code, you need an 80% pass rate. So if you're doing that, you should fly with colors, hopefully, at the test center because they only require an 80% pass rate. So for an 80 question exam, you need a 56 to pass. For a 40 question exam, you need a 28 to pass, okay? Then at the very end, as I mentioned, you'll take a testimonial saying that you're the one that actually took this course and you'll be completed. Once you complete this course, your completion certificate will be back in your student center at iowarealestateacademy.com. You will need that physical certificate printed to take to the PSI exam test center along with two forms of ID. We'll talk about that a little bit more. Now, when should you schedule your PSI exam? I I think to be responsible should tell you that you should finish this exam, finish this course before you schedule the exam. My worry is you're going to set a goal to finish it in two weeks. Life is going to take over because you're not required to meet with me every day like you are in a live classroom and things will come up and you won't get it done. And then you won't be ready for your scheduled time at the exam center. So the responsible answer is finish this course and then schedule your exam. It will probably take about two to three weeks for you to get into a physical test center of one of the three locations here in Iowa. The Des Moines area is usually about three weeks. Cedar Rapids and Council Bluffs is maybe around 10 days to two weeks depending on the demand. If you decide to proctor an exam from home, you might have a little bit quicker success. But my encouragement is, as soon as you are done with this course, get the exam scheduled. The longer you put it off and think, oh, I'm gonna study, 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 the more you got a chance of having all this information fall out the other side of your ear because you're going to go back to maybe another life of full-time job, parents, right? Um, all those things that you do in your life. So my students with the best success schedule the exam quickly after their completion and get it done within three weeks of finishing the course. Um, I do realize you're going to want a little time to study so I'm not say, saying schedule it for the next day, 
but do get that in as soon as you can. Typically test center times, if you're going to the physical locations, are going to be at 9 a.m. or 1 p.m. Just as kind of a heads up, you do have three hours to take the exam, and I would plan on being at the exam test center the entire time. So with that, one thing I like to put out um, there as you start this journey towards your real estate license is this. Um, I got my real estate license in February of 2020, or sorry, 20, 2001. Whoa. I got my license February 2002. That is really hard to admit, I guess, when I say it out loud. So the reason I mention that is because the only thing I knew about real estate at that time is that I lived in a house growing up and I had my own room. I didn't know anything about any of these terms. They were all completely foreign to me. And the reason I say that is some of you might be like me, completely a fish out of water. Some of you might know a lot of these terms. You've bought and sold a lot of properties. You've worked as an investor, whatever the case may be. Take this at, again, at your own speed. I promise you, you can start with zero knowledge and work through this course fantastic, in a fantastic manner. Um, so don't compare yourself to others, I guess is my point. Um, you can be successful in this business and really start with no working knowledge, but we'll get you there. That's the whole reason we have you take a course like this, okay? The other thing I want to let you know is with my live courses, typically my students, 60% of them pass both the national and the state on the first try. Then I've got another 20% that need to go back and take it a second time or they pass the national and not the state or vice versa. And you can go back and take the additional exam. They'll still charge you the full price of $95, but you don't need to take the one that you already completed successfully. The other 20%, I have no idea what the heck happens to you. <laughs> um, you uh, we lose connection. You maybe take a while to get the exam completed, whatever it might be. Um, so I don't really know your results. My reason for saying that to you is if you do not pass the first time, don't beat yourself up. Go back and keep trying again. I have never been on an appointment with a buyer or a seller that has asked me how many times I took the exam before I passed and no one has ever asked me my score. All I care is that if this is your goal to get into real estate, we hit that goal, which means you've got to get through this course. And then your next big rock is to get the PSI exam off of your plate. And I do not care how many times you take the exam or what your score is. I just care that you pass so that we can move you on to the next phase and get your real estate license. Now, in addition to this course, you may or may not have read this, so I'm just going to hop in here and say, there are three additional courses that you need to take in addition to the 60-hour pre-license. Those three courses are buying practices, listing practices, and developing professionalism and ethics. Those courses cannot be self-study like this one. Work at your own pace online. They must be done in a live classroom setting. And live classroom means physical roomy or it means online Zoomy. I call that roomy or Zoomy now. Um, so you can either do it in a live classroom or Zoom counts as a live platform because we can see and hear each other in real time. So those you've got to take with an instructor. We also offer those at the Iowa Real Estate Academy. You can go check out our calendar. We offer those every other month. Um, we rotate those with our live 60 hour course. I'd love to have you back um, to take those. Um, yet, obviously I understand schedules might allow for something else. Um, but just as a reminder, you can take the classes in any order 
you only need to complete this 60 hour class in order to go and sit for the exam, okay? And most folks I know like to get this out of the way in the exam, and then they start scheduling those three 12 hour courses. But you do you, you gotta do whatever works best for you. I know some people that schedule those three 12 hour classes because they're scheduled in the midst of taking this class. You do what you gotta do, but I just wanna put the reminder out there that you need to do it. In one of the sections, I'm gonna talk about background checks. And I don't think I can say this enough because I usually get asked this question multiple times, even in my live courses. Um, background checks need to be done through the Iowa Real Estate Academy. And you can request a background check packet um, through plb.iowa.gov, the Professional Licensing Bureau. Um, you can also go down there, I believe, and physically pick up a packet um, um, right uh, near the Capitol building, somewhere in that area in Des Moines, if you're in the local area. Uh, do whatever works for you, but you do need to request it and actually then go and get physical fingerprints done. And when you do that, I would say police stations are a great resource. I would just call ahead and make sure that they're doing them. Um, if you need an appointment and how much it costs. That way you're prepared when you get there. This is something you might wanna start sooner rather than later um, because the background check process does take sometimes between eight and 10 weeks. Um, once you get the background check completed, it does last for another 210 days. So right there, we're maybe looking at about 250 days start to finish before it expires. So if that is part of your timeline that you're wanting to get this done quickly, um, I just thought I would put that tip out there for you as well. Now, let's get into um, a little bit about me and your process here. Um, again, uh, I got my license in 2002. Um, I primarily have been selling residential real estate over the course of these years. Um, you're going to learn from my biggest failures and my biggest successes. Um, I think both are very, very helpful. Um, and I hope they help anchor the information so that you can help hopefully better understand it. Um, I have been teaching these real estate courses um, since 2015. And one thing that the Real Estate Commission allows me to do that I take advantage of every year is I go and I personally audit the salesperson exam. What does that mean to you? Well, it means I'm a real estate nerd and we're going, we're going to try to use that to our advantage to help you um, because what I do at the exam test center is I really do try to evaluate what's on the exam, what do we need to know, how are these questions worded, um, what style are they asking things for, um, and start looking for things that I know that we need to learn. And that is the basis of how I've structured, structured this course is what is going to best set you up for success. So take advantage of my real estate nerdiness. And with, like I said, each section, I will try to do a review video for most of them. Most videos are probably between 10 and 25 minutes long. This is great for you because you can be sitting at a computer. Um, if you're on the go and you have the opportunity to listen and take notes, it works really well for that. If I do have a video that's gonna be a little bit longer, over 30 minutes or over 40 minutes, maybe somewhere in there, I will try to make a note on it. Um, that way, if it's gonna be a longer 40 to 60 minute video, you've got a little bit of a heads up. I don't have very many of those, but I did just wanna let you know so that you can plan your study time working this through this course accordingly. I think that's it on my notes sheet um, of things that I wanted to review with you. Um, if you've got any questions, please feel free to reach out. Um, I did put contact information when you were reading through the intro of this course, um, but the school number for the Iowa Real Estate Academy is 515-321-1715. That also works for text. 
If you've got a technology issue, um, just know that um, it might take about 24 hours to get resolved, but we will get it taken care of for you. Hopefully you don't have anything go wrong. Um, and then there's obviously the email, which is info, I-N-F-O at iowarealestateacademy.com. Um, good luck. I can't wait for you to get your license so that you can list some properties, find some buyers, and you never know, we might work together soon.